guys. We got blue skies today, guys. That is great news. Uh, the sun is out. There is no rain. So it appears we have a, a pause. At least here, everything is bright and sunny. So my mom's apartment still doesn't have the, they had turned off the water. So we're just kind of still sitting tight. Um, and everything is largely closed. So we're kind of like not too sure what we're supposed to do. Work is canceled. So I'm not sure. It's kind of that uncertainty of, well, I don't know. You know, you're kind of on, on edge. That's sort of how we feel, but hopefully everybody is safe. But anyways, last night uh, we watched, uh, what was it called? Um, we watched that movie, uh, Food food Choices, last food night. Choices. And it was it's on Netflix. I've seen it before. It's a documentary. But what did you think of it? I Especially some of the um, the reasoning behind making different uh, plant-based choices. Yeah. And um, I, I think I'm gonna try to do a few things differently. <laughs> so I, I'm I'm sort of following the lead of my very savvy. But you you eat very healthy to begin things. with usually. I try to. Yeah. Yeah. There, there are some. You know, it's it's a, ch a challenge for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. But. Yeah. Yeah, my mom's thinking of going more plant-based after watching that. I am pretty much. She yeah, is pretty I much. I, I think I'm, what, 70%? Yeah, probably 70%. Um, but that, that particular documentary was very impactful. I mean, the non-animal, the, the, the non-vegan things that you have in your pantry are Quest bars and a stick of butter. <laughs> you don't drink dairy milk, really. No, I Behind, yeah, so, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, um, I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to find a butter replacement, but well, coconut oil isn't that yeah, um, yeah, good and you know what I think. What would you say more? You okay? Uh, uh, plant based discussion aside, you have always been a fan of butter, and you've always been a fan of nuts. If you could only have, uh, if if it was came down to it, and you were only allowed to have either butter. Or and nuts, and you couldn't have both for the rest of your life. You had to choose. What would you choose? Oh, I would definitely um, sacrifice the butter. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, food choices. You guys should check it out. It's a good documentary. It's very place. good. I don't know who the young man is that did it, but yeah, it was very well done because he covered all the different uh, facets. Yeah, of yeah. It. I, for me, the, the thing that's most compelling is the environmental impact. I mean, I'm not an environmentalist, and I don't know much about, you know, what's legit in, in terms of what they're saying, but logically it just makes sense to me that if, if you don't rely on cows, then at least that's less resource strain. I don't know. Also, the good thing about that documentary, there were some familiar faces that popped up. Yeah. Like, um, I've been, once in a while, I will watch on PBS. Mm -hmm. She's called the Jazzy Vegetarian. Oh, yeah. And she was actually one of the uh, contributors on that. So. That's what we did last night. That's what we did last <laughs> night after after the face mask. Oh, that Dr. Lola face mask. I um, It's fun to do, but it, it really doesn't offer much, honestly. Like, I wouldn't go out of my way to purchase it. Um, I think there are better sheet masks out there. The niacinamide is the only ingredient in it that I think has any potential to be useful. But anyways, I am rocking Nivea Biore and CeraVe AM on my face again this morning. So the sun that's coming in here is protecting me. And if we go out wandering, I will reapply. So, yep, that's what's going on. So I haven't had my coffee yet. So I'm going to make an iced coffee this morning. I thought it would be fun. I usually don't drink iced coffee, but... I'm just feeling different and I don't want to let this go to waste. So, I'm going to use some of my Jazzy Lacuma powder. I'm totally in, in love with this stuff. It tastes like caramel, so I'm going to make like a caramel iced latte, I suppose. Um, I'll show you how I do it. So, I'm just going to use, um, you know, the equivalent of like two shots of the Bastello, I guess. I don't know. And um, some of this silk cashew milk that I really enjoy as well as um, one, um, maybe two teaspoons of this lacuma powder and a stevia packet and some cinnamon. But first up, I'm just gonna 
mix up the uh, milk and the uh, lacuma powder together and dissolve it. So I'm just gonna put this, I'm really liberal with, <laughs> with the uh, cinnamon here. So I'm gonna dust in a little cinnamon and put the lid on here. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. And this clean canteen, it's pretty good. It makes a nice vacuum seal in there, so it keeps it pretty fresh. And I'll add a stevia packet. Give it all another shake. And I'm gonna use my Bubba Swizzle straw. Get a little swizzle. Ooh, that's good. That's really good. It's a little on the bitter side. Too strong? Too grabby, yeah, it's grabby strong. <laughs> I don't know if that's because- I like it. I it put a lot of coffee saturated in. saturated in the, you know, while I was waiting. Tastes good to me. But that's a cold brew, that's the way they taste. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, I had to be honest. You don't like it? Well, I wouldn't- You wouldn't yeah, order that. I don't like it. That yeah, you'd send it back. It's good for me though, I like it. But guys, we just hit a milestone. I'm having the last of the steel cut, quick cook, Bob's Red Mill, gruely oats of doom. The last. <laughs> and it's Pistello. I do still prefer hot coffee though. Something about the, the, the thermosensory, Neuro circuitry here, I need it. But anyways, I'm whipping out my cauliflower oats and that is what it's going hey, Cauliflower on. oats are done. I've got, just as I made yesterday, my uh, cauliflower oats with uh, the one scoop of the Orgain uh, protein powder. I'll list it down below for you guys. And um, I've just topped it with a little bit more of that lacuma powder, some chia seeds, hemp seeds, goji berries, and a dollop of this uh, Costco Kirkland Signature Organic Creamy Peanut Butter. I really enjoy this stuff. Um, but one thing that about this particular Costco peanut butter, comment below if you eat this, it doesn't taste like peanut butter to me. It tastes more like almond butter. I don't know, am I hallucinating? I feel like it, it, doesn't, it doesn't taste exactly like, there's something about it that tastes like an like an adulterated nut is in there. I mean, I'm not mad. I like the flavor profile, but it just doesn't taste like peanut butter. Anyways, <clears throat> and I finished off my iced coffee. I knew I would finish that quickly. That's what, one of the reasons I don't like to drink iced coffee is I pound it down too quickly. Um, so I tried to pace myself, but I'm already done with that. Um, and I've got my water here. And just like yesterday, I have one of my dessert gummies here. Um, this does not appear to contain gelatin in it, vegans, um, so I think that's okay, but it's still just basically candy. This is my calcium vitamin D supplement, which is basically just candy, as I said yesterday, and my biotin supplement, which is probably just another type of candy. So... <laughs> I'm gonna have that and get to work on the computer. So it's afternoon time already and I've just been working on the computer. My mom's been plugging away at her cross stitch. And I made us a little snack because we're getting a little um, noshy here. I made us some avocado toast, if you will. Um, I basically just took, we had three rice cakes left over. These are the low sodium uh, rice cakes that I get at Kroger. And I've just topped it with one of these packets of chunky guacamole from Costco that my mom brought over. And a little bit of this true lime, lime, garlic, and cilantro crystallized lime that I enjoy so much. This has no salt in it, which I like, and a little nutritional yeast. So we're gonna have these little baby avocado toasts. <laughs> Well, hey guys, I realized that I transitioned to the outro pretty quickly in today's vlog, um, but I just uh, got out of the shower um, and did my nighttime skincare routine. You may have noticed 
just kind of in my tone today that I was feeling a little restless. I think I might even title this vlog Restless. Uh, with the sun coming out and uh, clearly everything sort of lifting but still kind of being in a state of uncertainty. Um, you know, I really felt like I'm so fortunate. My mother and I are together and safe and we have been unaffected completely. Um, so I really felt like I wanted to do something to help. Um, and that was kind of making me feel a little bit restless. But um, one of the things that I did uh, that came into my email today that um, is, is wonderful, um, the local medical society sent out a, a request for volunteers. So they have, um, uh, at the stadium here in Houston, they, they have people who are displaced from their homes. And I, I guess there are, you know, obviously many, many people who unfortunately are injured or, or ill or, um, you know, have uh, things that need medical attention attention. So they're soliciting medical volunteers and so I have an opportunity to go and help and I went ahead and signed up for some shifts. So I signed up for some shifts that start uh, in the evening if they need me around 3 a.m. So I kind of wanted to conclude the vlog because I think I'm going to just take a little nap here and try and get some rest uh, so that I can have enough uh, energy to, to do whatever they need. Um, and uh, you know, hopefully help out, um, help people out. Uh, and I'm really uh, glad to have that opportunity. And I think it's just amazing how this whole city has really come together during this time of uh, crisis. And um, obviously, there's a lot that needs to be done. Um, I wanted to thank you all for <laughs> your ongoing comments of concern and. and and, uh, support your prayers positive vibes what, whatever um, you're putting out there I really greatly appreciate but both, both my mother and I greatly appreciate and has meant a tremendous amount to us so obviously the people of Houston really really need all of that love right now and many of you have commented that you went ahead and made some donations to the Red Cross and that is wonderful so thank you guys so much um, again I feel incredibly blessed to you know knock on wood I think we're out of the woods here guys um, to, to have not been affected in any manner so hopefully I can uh, you know do my part uh, to tonight and in and tomorrow to, to help out uh, where need be. So um, yeah, as far as the vlogs, uh, tomorrow I have a um, mask review for you guys. So stay tuned for that. And then Friday is the Q&A. So hopefully Saturday's vlog will pick up to be my normal kind of content in the vlogs and not the sort of willy nilly mishmash. But you saw some fun vegan stuff today as far as foods. And um, so hopefully you liked it. And again, thank you guys so much for all of your support and um, with that I'm gonna conclude the vlog give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe I'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye